This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Thursday, August 30th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From the New York Times, bills in Britain will soar 80% as energy crisis crashes into Europe. Household gas and electricity costs will increase by around 80% in the UK in October, according to a recent announcement by Britain's energy regulator. This increase is the result of the same forces causing energy-related inflation elsewhere in the world, especially mainland Europe. Key among them, pressure from Russia, as it redirects energy resources previously sent westward to other customers like China and India. This price near-doubling is expected to significantly harm many British people this winter unless the government somehow softens the blow. But although European governments are implementing new regulations to prevent a serious humanitarian crisis in the coming months, UK leaders have reportedly failed to do so up to this point. From The Verge, Moderna is suing Pfizer over its coronavirus vaccine. Moderna, the maker of one of the two most popular mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccines on the market, is suing the partnership behind the other most popular mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccine, Pfizer and BioNTech, for alleged patent infringement. The allegation at the center of this lawsuit is that Pfizer and BioNTech copied two components of its vaccine, and although they're not trying to pull the other vaccine from the market, they are looking for monetary compensation. Pfizer and BioNTech are also facing a patent-related lawsuit from CureVac. Moderna is being sued by two other biotechnology companies for alleged vaccine-related patent infringement, while a biotech company called Alnilam is suing both Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech for the same. It's anyone's guess as to how all these lawsuits will play out, but there's a lot of money at stake, so it's a fair bet that some of these entities have just decided to invest in some legal fees and will take whatever they can grab. And from science, White House requires immediate public access to all U.S.-funded research papers by 2025. The Biden administration has announced that by the end of 2025, all research papers resulting from taxpayer-funded work, including the data they're based on, must be made available to the public following the publication of the final peer-reviewed manuscript. It's unclear if this will make gobs of difference to the science world, but in theory, it's a pretty good thing for everyone except a relatively few publishing companies that make a whole lot of money from paywalls erected around such work. The theory, though, is that since taxpayers funded this research, they should get to see and use it however they want, and that could lead to more ease of access for these findings as well, which would, superficially at least, seem to be a broadly good thing. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.